Spotify's launching. Nice. Okay. So, right off the bat, you can see we have macOS here. Beautiful. And just to show you guys, we're running Monterey. Right there, macOS Monterey 2011, 27 inch by Mac. Beautiful. So, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to start by showing you guys that I do have Lightroom actually running on this machine. And it is the latest, just so I'm not clickbaiting you guys. Launch up Lightroom Classic here. Lightroom Classic 2022. There we go. So this is the latest version of Lightroom Classic, which is phenomenal. Um, if I go up here, once it loads it here, I'll be able to um, show you the actual version number. Okay, so as you can see, 2007 and 2022 right there. Probably can't. There you go, 2007 2022 version 12.0.1 so yes this is running the latest and greatest version so let's talk about photos so as we can see right here we have a raw image that i took on my sony here and if you look down here at the file name you can see that is a sony raw image so we're here i'm gonna turn on do not disturb Turn on one of those good old focus modes. There we go. And now we're in. So, so we'll go over to develop and just so you guys can see that this is actually legit. Again, here we have this, this is a raw image and we can just do the, now it is a little bit laggy, but overall it's editing these images, which is really great. I'm really happy about that. And of course we've got all the detail. We can do the sharpening. We can do some noise reduction because it's a very noisy image. A little too much, sharpen a little bit, drop the noise a little bit. And just we can go through and add all these things. Now, I'm not going to do a full edit of this image, of course, but this is just showing you how good it can do. So that's a little proof that um, I have the latest and greatest running. Now let's show you how I did it. So to do this, and of course to do this at your own risk, this is not under Apple's protection at all. This is completely your choice. Do what you will, it's your computer. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm telling you how I did it. So to do that, we are going to go to Open Core Patcher. And Open Core Patcher is this uh, legacy patcher for older Macs. So basically you just download it and you follow the prompts. So you just say get started and you download and build your installer, you run the patcher and you run the booter afterwards. And I have it just down here in my dock. This is the app that lets you, of course, patch your computer if you need to. But basically this tricks your machine into thinking it is much newer. Now it doesn't trick the machine really because it still knows it's a 2011, 12 comma two, but it bypasses everything and runs Mac OS Mon uh, Monterey. Now you don't have metal graphics acceleration, of course. So um, some notifications can look a little bit weird. What I did to mitigate that was actually just turning off transparency um and that helped because they were flickering a little bit but now you can use lightroom you can use all your latest and greatest software like here everything's up to date which is absolutely wonderful and of course you can just like tell it to install the apps and they're just going to install now my computer is convinced it wants to upgrade to ventura because that is the latest software version now we're not going to do that because there's not a patch for that yet as it just came out so we're just going to ignore that and just to make sure that you don't um update and brick your machine just make sure the check for updates is off on that as well now when you go into your app store of course you can update all those apps and make sure you have all the apps you want for your machine and this computer again it is a little older it's a little bit slower um but it's great because it has everything and it can open these raw images and it can open all the files. Um, it can't, of course, render the files that come from this camera unless I pre-render them, but it has the capability to, of course, work with these files, which is great. So that's just how I got Lightroom Classic, the new version of Lightroom Classic running on this machine. So let's go back over here to our library because I think I have some photos in my synced library. 
So we go here to library, we go to synced photos, five synced photos, oh boy, what do we got? Okay, this is a raw image that was taken on my Sony. I edited it, as you can tell. If we can go over here to what we edited it, it to, we warmed it up by 12, exposure down by 0.12, contrast went up, shockingly. But as you can see, it is actually editing the image um, in real time. So, this is just a quick look at how I got this working. It's great, it's working really well. Um, I'll do a follow-up video in a couple weeks before I head back just to show you guys that it is still working because last time I restarted it actually last time and my mini bar went away. Not really sure why. There's been a couple versions since then, of course, a little more stable version because that was a while ago. Um, but now having this functioning is actually really nice and I'm really happy that it's working. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful at all, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Socials are linked below as well as my website where you can check out 